want more, which is the hashtag that we use for the Katia Scholars Program. We will talk a little bit about what Katia Scholars Program is shortly, um, but your teacher or guidance counselor will give you a handout and you will be directed to the website where you will get more information. My name is Dr. Gia Jones and I am Program Director of Scholarships and College Success at the Life for Key Foundation. And I am super excited to be able to prepare this video presentation for you. Normally, what you are getting, I do in person where we can talk to each other, but um, I am only one person, so I'm not able to physically get to all of the islands. And, but I should say not and, but it is very important that even if I am not there, that you still get the information. So you still get an opportunity to be a part of this awesome program. Our hashtag, as I said, is hashtag I want more or hashtag I want more 242. Our tagline is dream, plan, succeed. And that's pretty much what I'm going to take you through. The three steps that we see are relevant to you getting to your more. So sit back and enjoy. Greatness, it's just something we made up. Somehow we've come to believe that greatness is a gift reserved for a chosen few, for prodigies, for superstars. And the rest of us can only stand by watching. You can forget that. Greatness is not some rare DNA strand. It's not some precious thing. Greatness is no more unique to us than breathing. 
We're all capable of it. All of us. Nike says for you to find your greatness. And that is really what we are here to do. To encourage you, to help you, to facilitate you finding and really unlocking your greatness. One of the things um, that you would notice in the video is that the young man looks like he's going to pass out. He is tired. He is breathing heavy. He is sweating. And oftentimes when people see the video, they find it quite humorous because, you know, he just looks like, oh my goodness, somebody needs to save him. But what he represents is a bigger, bigger thing. It is the fact that he is determined, that he has the commitment, that he is pushing, that he has, he's persisting all of those big words that are key to you getting to your goal. One of the things that the Nike commercial does talk about is the fact that we sometimes tend to believe that greatness has to do with famous people. And without fail, every time I do this presentation, I say, close your eyes or tell me when I, you hear the word greatness, what do you think of? I get names like Oprah Winfrey, a president like for Barack Obama, a major superstar like Michael Jordan or Kobe Bryant or Steph Curry. Um, I get famous people. I get persons who are at the top of the game in music and in some other industry because really that's what a lot of times we think of greatness as. But the truth is, is the fact that you are breathing, the fact that you are living, God has made you with the capacity to be great. It is just that there are some things that you have to do in order to unlock it. You have to work toward it. And that is part of this dream, plan, succeed. And so we have a desk before you because literally you are in a classroom. But figuratively, I'm going to take you through a class. First step being dream. Now, as I mentioned really briefly, I work uh, as a program director for scholarships and college success. And I actually work for the Life of Key Foundation. And our mission for the past more than 40 years has been all about providing educational access to Bahamians. And so a lot of times when you hear me talk, you will hear me talking about getting to your goals and reaching higher and you're more and doing better. And all the time it's going to have to do, it's going to tie very, very closely to academic achievement, what it is that you are pursuing as it relates to academics, your, in your classroom, outside of the classroom, after high school. And so the first thing when we are dreaming, in order to get anywhere, we need to consider college, at least from my perspective. And so the first question is, what are your reasons for considering college? And we look at the personal reasons. Now, if we go back to the video, part of the reason why that young man was able to reach his goal, which was to lose weight, and there is a full story about him, Nathan, is because the goal was personal. And we will talk about later the fact that things that mean something to you, you are more likely to pursue. And so even though there are a ton of other reasons why someone may consider doing some kind of education after high school, whether a certificate, a diploma, an associate, a bachelor's, a master's, or if you want to go as high in the field like I did and get a doctoral degree in whatever it is, then, but it still has to have a personal connection because without it, you're not going to persist. You're going to, it's going to be more likely for you to give up if you're doing it for another reason or for somebody else. And so one of my personal reasons, other than the fact that I just said that I wanted to do it, was when I realized that my parents, neither of them had a college degree, then I was like, oh my goodness, this is so important. It, it became a goal for me. It became a personal thing that I wanted to accomplish. And I know that there are many of you who are listening and watching who are similar to me where neither mommy or daddy has a college degree. That can be one of the reasons why this is important to you so that you are able to now reach higher and go further than your parents would have gone as it relates to going to college. The other reason is financial. And when I'm doing this presentation, I normally ask students, I'm like, okay, so tell me, how many of you know that college costs money or that college costs a lot of money? You know, most of you are like, you're aware that you got to pay something to go to college. It's not like how you come to school for free um, at your current school. Um, but what a lot of you don't realize is that College is actually an investment. 
And being an investment means that while you have to pay something or give something, it also means that you get something in return. So if you look at the screen here, you will see three stacks of bills. Here is for those who have achieved a high school diploma. And then here is the associate's degree, so that's a two-year degree. And here is the four-year degree. And it's quite obvious the steps as we go up. So after getting a four-year degree, you are likely to make twice as much as the person who is getting a high school, who just got a high school diploma. Now I will say, sometimes this doesn't work that way. Sometimes people are able to make this amount of money or more, but it's not always going to be legal. Um, but sometimes it just happens. But the truth is, for the majority of persons, so that's the average person every day, most likely to be you and me, it is going to require an investment. That means you pay to go to college or somebody pays for you, as we offer it through Katia Scholars. Um, you provide your time and your commitment, and then you get something in return. And so that is one of the benefits, one of the reasons why you may be considering college because you want to increase your financial future. The other reason why almost everybody says they want to go to college, which makes sense, is because it's tied to a career that you are pursuing. So let's look at this picture, for example. You have a chef. You have an artist. She looks like maybe a businesswoman. She's a doctor. They are uh, health professionals. <clears throat> they could be doctors as well, nurses, um, phlebotomist, somebody who works in the lab. You have here, and I love these. These are both, he's a plumber maybe, um, and she is something in maybe surveying or um, ca um, carpentry, construction, architecture, something along those lines. For some reason for her to be on a construction site with a hard hat on. Um, the truth is, regardless of your career goal, you can benefit by going to school after high school. For most of us, it is required. But for those where it's not required, it gives you an edge. And some of you may say, okay, well, I'm going to be an entrepreneur. I'm going to own my own business. And that's great. We need more persons to own businesses. But the truth is, the reason why Bahamians have not done so well in owning businesses is because we don't understand how businesses work. And how do you get more knowledge about how businesses work? Well, one obvious way, you go to school and you get a business degree. So you can get a bachelor's degree in business management or entrepreneurship or something along those lines. Or um, some persons who have learned without going to school may have been mentored by somebody who did go to school and who was a successful businessman. But the truth of the matter is some kind of training, even if it is just workshops, certificates, courses online are going to be required. So you should start thinking about that for every field that you may be considering. And the final one is the impact on family. And this one is kind of farther out there. So it may not necessarily impact you right now. But what we find is that education after high school, so having a college degree is a lot of times tied with how much money you make. So we talked about the financial um, the investment financially that college brings. And so the reverse is when you don't go to college, a lot of times you end up being in um, poverty. And so one of the challenges with poverty is that you end up um, continuing the cycle because you can't afford to go to school and then you have kids and then because you don't make as much money then you're struggling you can't afford to send them and then the cycle continues but the reverse also happens that means when you change your mind and you say I'm going to go to college I'm going to break this cycle you are able to do that because now what happens you then create a better opportunity for your children. You create um, better opportunities, better lifestyle, um, and it's just a better kind of future that you are creating through going to college. So I said our hashtag is I want more. We want more for you. We want you to want more for yourself. First steps, how do you get to your more? You're going to dream big. So this is not looking at what is next door, what is around you, what somebody else is doing, the number of things in your neighborhood. This is looking beyond that. This is realizing that while you live in a small 
archipelago of a nation um, that sometimes is only known for sun, sand, and sea, but recognizing that because we are now connected via the internet, that there is so much more, so, so, so much more opportunities that you can um, access and international platforms. And so you want to make sure that you are able to compete. And so that's why we are dreaming big because it's no longer about providing maybe, let's say, hair services or welding services for the person next door. It is about how you can revolutionize the hair hair industry, how you can create a new industry um, so that you are you know, you are able to just break open and become a millionaire in a particular field. So that is what it's about. The next thing you want to do after you have dreamed big is you want to explore your options. You want to see what the opportunities are out there. Um, So you may have said, okay, I want to help people. And for you, that may mean, oh, I saw somebody and they're a nurse. And so that's how they are helping people. Um, But other times the if you explore your options, you will see that maybe there are other ways that you can help people. You can maybe be a psychologist, a speech language pathologist, a special education teacher. You can be a nursery worker. I mean, the, the, the opportunities are endless, but you are going to have to look for them because most likely some of those fields are not represented here, so you won't know about them. And being a part of the Katia Scholars Program, we are going to help you to go through those opportunities. And the next thing is the, now that you have dreamed big, you have identified some options, you've gone through and found some stuff. Now, what is going to be the best path for you to get uh, trained, skilled, equipped to go into that field? You now need to find a particular college or university or institution where you can be trained. And so one of the things that people don't talk about when we talk about going to college is the fact that one of the first steps should be finding one that fits, that matches what you are looking for. So you're not just going to college just because somebody went or because they give you something fancy when you visited the college fair. You want to make sure that the things that match your personality, match the amount of money that you and your family can afford, that are in, it's in an area where you want to live in, that it's the size, that it's, you know, it offers opportunities for you. Those are the things that you want to consider. So if you are also an athlete, you're not going to go to a small school that um, may not have a track team or a volleyball team because you may want to continue playing even if you don't ever go off professionally. So that would be something that you want to consider. You want to make sure that the particular major that you are going to pursue is represented there and is a strong program, that uh, people who graduate from there are able to get jobs in their field and that the people are connected so that they can help connect you even for when you come back home. Um, If it's COB or BTVI, you're thinking about then, you know, the cost may be what keeps you. The size may also be something that's important um, and admission criteria because it's easier since they look at BGCSE, which you have or you will have. So all of those things are parts of the plan that you create, and we will help you to create that plan when you sign up for Katia's Scholars Program. So the next part to getting to your more is how you get to succeed. So here is video that I absolutely love. It's by Dr. Eric Thomas. Um, it is a couple clips from a longer video. Don't try to quit. You already in pain. You already hurt. Get a reward from it. Don't go to sleep until you succeed. Listen to me. What I'm doing. Why? Because it's not about where you come from. It's about heart. You come to a place where, you know, being smart ain't enough. You gotta have heart. That's number one. Watch number two. Number two. Catch number two. I wrote it down. I wanted to make sure you got it. It says... To be, watch this, watch this. We're talking about sacrifice now. The important thing is this. You're right why I'm saying it. Because I only have about three more minutes. Listen to me. The most important thing is this. To be able at any moment to sacrifice what you are for what you will become. That's the number two thing. You got to catch that one. To be able to, listen to me, at any moment... Some of you, you can make sacrifices when Monday Night Football is not on. You can make a sacrifice. But when the game come on, for some reason, you just attach to it. For some of you, when your favorite show come on, you, you, can, be, you can make sacrifices on Sunday when there ain't nothing going on. 
But when your favorite show comes on Mike Bell, some of you, you focus until the phone rings. And then you like, I got to answer. If I don't answer the phone, I'm going to die. I'm saying to you today that there are some of you, if you give up your cell phone, you would be successful. That's what it says. To be able at any moment to sacrifice what we are for what we can be. I don't do well in math. You're right. You ain't never studied. I'm not good in writing because you have never written before. But I dare you to fail in writing for a whole year to see if you can get to the end. I dare you to fail. I dare you to take that same class over and over again. I dare you to stop dropping classes. You quit and you ain't even tried yet. Last one, I'm sorry. Last one. Listen to me. Pain is temporary. It may last for a minute or an hour or a day or even a year. But eventually, it will subside. And something else will take its place. If I quit, however, it will last forever. Listen to me, I'm telling you, Isaiah has got to go from external to internal. You have to give it everything you got. No more TV, no more parties, no more plans. If you don't have a 4.0, what you need to be doing is studying. Get off the phone. I, I, I'm sorry, I'm not available until the end of this year. <laughs> No, I'm for real. You've reached the right number, but you called me at the wrong time. Call me back January 1st. <laughs> I'm about to get busy now. Huh? I want you to have a countdown of your own and say when the countdown is over, where the real, shh, watch me, because when I was homeless, I knew something was wrong. I knew that wasn't the best of me. And one day I said, will the real Eric Thomas please stand up? Will the real Eric Thomas please stand up being afraid and be the best Eric Thomas you can be? But listen to me, it's going to be hard. It took me 12 years to get a four-year degree, but I got it. And guess what? On a degree, it don't have dates. So if it took you four and it took me 12, it don't show up nowhere. But I'm exactly where I want to be because I realized I got to commit my very being to this thing. I got I to gotta breathe it. I got to eat it. I got to sleep it. And until you get there, you'll never be successful in life. But once you get there, I guarantee you, the world is yours. So work hard, and you can have whatever it is you want. Thank you guys for your time. As I mentioned, I absolutely love this video. Um, and there's so many things we can talk about there. But as it relates to your more and succeeding, first thing that we want to pull out from the video is you got to have heart. It is all about passion. I absolutely love this quote from Mr. Howard Thurman. Don't ask what the world needs. Ask what makes you come alive and go do it. Because what the world needs is more people who have come alive. And that is so, so true. Uh, I don't know how many of you have lived enough and have gone enough places to have interacted with people who seem completely miserable and unhappy doing whatever it is that they are doing. And what happens is because they are miserable and they then make others miserable. So you don't want to be that person. You want to whatever your career is going to be, is to be something that you are passionate about, something that you have heart, because that is going to be the way that you stick with it through the end. Part of why you want to pick something that you are passionate about as well is because that's how you're going to be able to stick with it to get to it. So you are 11th grade. And for many of you, uh, getting to your ideal career may be at minimum at least four to five years. That means you have to do at least a two-year degree after graduating. So in that four years, so many things could happen. So many things could distract you. But if you are passionate about it, if you are just crazy and just super focused and you are on fire for whatever it is that you are interested in, then that time is going to be, you're going to be able to resist quitting and push and continue on and be committed. So the next step or the next key towards getting to your more and succeeding is sacrifice. And Dr. Thomas in his video said, what are you willing to sacrifice to get from where you are to where you want to be? Well, actually, he didn't say it like that, but that's pretty much how it came off. Really, what is it that you are going to give up right now for who your future self is going to be? Are you willing to give up WhatsApp, Snapchatting, sitting down all night on the computer? 
when you can actually be taking the time on the computer and doing maybe an assignment for a Katia scholar so that you can get closer to getting a scholarship or you can be studying and preparing for SATs or ACTs so you can take them before your friends take them in 12th grade so you can get early acceptance and admissions into a school. Maybe taking BGCSEs earlier and self-teaching. Um, so that means looking at a particular course, realizing that your school don't have it and saying, hey, I can teach myself this. I'm going to push further. So that is what sacrifice is, is about, is about looking at where it is you want to be and realizing that in order to get there, there are some things that you may have to give up right now. And yes, it's going to hurt, but it will not kill you. And that brings us to the final point from that video. And that is on the point of commitment. Eric Thomas said, don't quit. He said, you're already in pain. You're already hurt. At least you can get a reward from it. And for many of us, for you, the reward would be getting awarded a scholarship to go to COB or BTVI, or if there's another option for school for you, getting a scholarship to go there, getting great grades so that you can um, you can be selected to be the top of your class and get opportunities to go, getting high SAT or ACT scores because we know that that's how U.S. schools usually make decisions about scholarships. It may mean pushing yourself to get up earlier so that you can train harder so that you can get the athletic scholarship and go to school for free or almost for free because you um, have the discipline and the commitment. Yes, all of my examples just now have to do with going to school and that's what I'm here to encourage you about. But there are also other areas where you are going to succeed because you have commitment, because you do not quit. Because why? The pain is going to be temporary, but quitting is forever. And I know sometimes that throws people off because we know that there are second chances and third chances and there are people who are doing things later in life. But the truth is is that if you quit now, yes, you still may get to your goal, but it's going to be harder, it's going to be longer. And so the forever part means you are going to miss opportunities. One of those opportunities you're going to miss is an option to be in the Katia Scholars Program because Katia Scholars Program is only offered to 11th grade students. We want more for you. We want to get a jump start. We want to work with you. So what we do is we come around in early of your 11th grade. Um, we talk to you. We give you this presentation. You are option to sign up at our website right here at Iwantmore242.com. You register. And then from there, then you are participate in a number of activities and challenges. You set goals. We help you to create that plan for you to get to college. And there are various rounds. And as you stick with it, as you commit, as you sacrifice, as you show heart, then you push through and you get and you move up and you move up and you move up until you become one of the finalists. And that's like 12. And from that 12, we pick six, and six students will be selected for scholarships, three for B BTVI and three for the University of the Bahamas. And for those of you who say, ah, I don't want to go to either one of those, well, before you cross it off, let's talk about college fit and see if maybe that may be the best option for you to start with. Or if you know for sure that maybe what it is you want to do is not offered at either one of those places, then still sign up for Katia Scholars because then I can help you to create a plan or we can help you to create a plan so that you can get to the college of your choice and see how you can secure another scholarship, if not the Katia Scholars Scholarship. Okay, so... Go to our Facebook page. We are also on Instagram. Hashtag I want more. Hashtag I want more. 242. Hashtag dream plan succeed. It is about Katia Scholars. Sign up. I want to meet you. I want to talk with you. I want to help you get to your more. Because ultimately, that's what my job is for. That is what I am passionate about. That's what gets me up in the morning and keeps me pushing through the long days um, because I want you to get to your more. Thank you so much for listening. Please look at the handout that your guidance counselor would have given you. Um, if you don't see the handout, then just go to our website, Iwantmore242.com, register or send me a private message on the Facebook page at Katia Scholars. I hope to see you soon.